What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So in this video, I'm going to be giving you an uh, overview of how Merch Informer works. Now, I've used Merch Informer in the past, but I haven't uh, looked at the website for quite some time now. So I got access to it. I have a 20% discount if you guys are interested in signing up and being a member and getting all of the benefits. But let's get into it and I'll show you around. So the fr front page, um, pretty much explains to you what Merchant Farmer does. Get the data you need to build your merchant business. Sell successful products at work on your own terms. So you can have a free trial. It's definitely just worth getting in there and getting the free trial and getting all the data you need to begin with. So even though you might not have the money to become a member, uh, go in there and sign up for the free trial and get the information you need so you can kind of get the ball rolling. The main thing people use this is for research. So we'll get in the website and have a look at what um, options and tools they have. So right now I'm logged in. I have dark mode on, so you can change that if you like. Just go to your profile, light mode, light screen, dark mode. To begin with, I'm just going to do a whole overview, look at things that I've used a lot in the past and then highlight things that are new or just been updated on this website. So the first section you have your tutorials, a lot of great information. They always kept on um, you know, updating it as well. So all these sections are pretty much right here, how to use them. So if you have any questions of you're not sure how to use these sections, you have the video right here. You have Merch Academy, so basically how to use Merch by Amazon and how to use Merch Informer with that. So they pretty much seem to be updating consistently. So as you can see, they've been constantly updating. They're talking about AMS, so using advertising on, on Amazon. So and they look like they'll be coming up with some new stuff pretty much soon. So really glad to see that, you know, this website is always moving, always coming up with new things and updating their tutorials and techniques and strategies. Uh, so another thing they have that's pretty cool is the merch designer. So if you're not a designer, but you want to kind of tackle a bit of designing yourself, uh, you can go in here, say I want to design a t-shirt. You can kind of do the designing yourself, pick templates images, import images, shapes, so say uh, so this is black, black. So right here you can kind of try to design yourself. All right, so let's begin. Merch search basically looks for the brand. So I can look for Disney. This will show me all the Disney t-shirts that are on amazon.com. So we're talking about .com right here, and with this section right here, you can change the marketplace either to UK or Germany. So let's just wait until we get the results. So these are the Disney t-shirts. So if you have a brand that you're curious about, or your own brand, like one of the brands I use is UGR, so these are my shirts under the UGR uh, merchant name. So with this, I could uh, get information of a particular t-shirt. You'll see this would be the sales rank. So it goes up and down and price. I pretty much haven't changed the price throughout the year. You can uh, favorite it. Uh, you can get um, competition check, um, trademark check, so it'll simply throw you to another website so you can check, make sure you, uh, you know your title and the wording on your t-shirt is not infringing on any trademark. And you can even um, say you find a t-shirt here that's using your same uh, brand name with your same design, you can come in here and report infringement. Just fill out this information, say this is not, um, this person is infringing on your copyright, or if you have a trademark, is infringing on your trademark. Product shirt. So basically looking for a particular type of t-shirt. 
So let's say I'm looking for dog mom shirt, t-shirt in the USA market, and I'll get a collection of dog mom uh, shirts. So right here I have uh, shirts that have used uh, the keyword dog mom. So I don't really use merch, merchant shirts and product shirts that much. What I have used a lot in the past is Merch Hunter. So I'm going to look for the top 500 in the USA market t-shirts. Um, I want it to have somewhat of a low uh, BSR and the price range doesn't really matter. So I'm going to look for cannabis. So right here I have the best selling t-shirts with the keyword cannabis. So now I'm in this niche. I don't see much of my t-shirts here. But right here I can have an idea and see exactly what kind of stuff is selling. Now if I just want to look at the top shirts and not necessarily of a particular keyword, I just leave that blank search and it'll show me the best selling t-shirts on Amazon. Now looking at these, quite a bit of them are, are big brands. So you have Star Wars here. You have uh, Shane Dawson, which is a YouTuber. Um, you know, we're talking about the Baby Shark brand, Pink Fong, uh, Star Wars. So right here we have some political stuff. So political stuff is still moving. So right there was is a session I definitely used a lot in the past. All right, so keyword finder. So let's see if we can find some keywords. So I'm gonna use word cannabis again. We're just gonna stick with that. So here are some of the keywords you might be thinking about using when using the word cannabis. I'm gonna put American Bulldog. So this is the breed of my dog. We're gonna see if there's other keywords I can use when I'm listing. Um, T-shirts related to American Bulldogs. So as you can see, we can put American Bulldog Bomb. Seems to be something that's somewhat popular. There's not many competition in American Bulldog. And also you can have other ideas of some other products that might be selling in that niche. Like socks, ornaments, hoodies, and other types of clothing. So right there, Keyword Finder basically tries to help you find other keywords. I'm sure right here with key, favorite keywords, I can just favorite these and you'll have my selection of favorite keywords. All right, so trademarks, alerts. I have used this in the past. So basically you put in um, the keyword or the saying that you're putting on a t-shirt and it'll tell you roughly if it's safe or not. So girl squad not safe let's get some details on that girl squad is registered for leggings roper short bottom tops so that hashtag girl squad you cannot put that on a t-shirt so, so right here I can check to see if uh, what I'm using is trademarked or not and obviously double check now, now don't just assume that if it has an X it's you can't use it it might be just trademark for a different product like a phone case or something like that um, so that's a pretty neat tool um, the trademark hunter is new for me so I haven't used that merch archive this is pretty cool this is something I used in the past so let's say I want to go back in time to 2018 and I want to see what are the things that are worth selling in January 2018 around mid January in the USA market and then you'll have a list of the t-shirts that were doing really well around this time in 2018 so with this you can kind of see if there are any holidays or special events that are popping up that are yearly or you have an idea of roughly what people are buying at the beginning of the year so I think there was the Women's March, as you can see. So, you you know, I can check to see if they have this again this year. So, great tool right there to see what was happening last year. 
So you can kind of, uh, you know, be on top of the game, be ahead of the competition. Let's say I'll just be like, all right, so I'm going to work, see what happens in, in February. So I'm going to try to be designing stuff that are in this thing. So you have, I love my awesome wife. So I'm probably sure this is a Valentine's Day. So then you're like, okay, I have to make sure I have to do some Valentine's Day designs. I see a lot of Valentine's Day. And you can go in there and, you know, dig, 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 and see if you can have, find those uh, reoccurring events or special themes that come up every year. Keyword cloud. Let's have a look at that. I think this is fairly new. Um, it might. So let's go the fifth. The keyword cloud, I believe these are just basically trending keywords. So right now, Star Wars is trending. So this is really useful, actually. You can get quite a good amount of ideas of type of t-shirts you, you can make. But obviously, you have to be careful not to use trademark stuff like the baby shark. Uh, let's have um, trending phrases. So let's go yesterday. See how the trending phrases were yesterday. <clears throat> so I would go in and um, see what these things are all about. Like women, that's horrible. So I would just go in there and see if these things are trademark. And what do they actually mean? So this is right now something definitely I'm excited about. So that is the keyword cloud. So trend hunter movers and shakers. So this is something used quite a bit in the past. It pretty much picks up uh, shirts that are you know shot up in sales rank. So let's see some of these shirts. Uh, Wonderlust. So again, great way to find um, trends right here so things that are just popping up so right here you know it's just a great way to find ideas special events that might be popping up that you're not aware of all right trend tracker let's have a look actually let's just change it up to the uk uh, trend tracker in the uk so here we have some more information of some of the shirts that are shooting up in rank in the UK market. So right here, I can also, if you're not sure exactly what kind of stuff sells in the UK, definitely a great place to find out what is hot in the UK or in German, in the German market. So a lot of stuff I'm not even sure if using English in the German market actually works. But a lot of times I've noticed that the, some of the best time selling t-shirts are, are in English. Right now I can't find that. It's as you can see, like, you definitely have to use the German language. Things I hate. Like probably the only English t-shirt. Oh, here's another one. A lot of it is in German. So if you really want to do well in, in German market, you definitely have to uh, use the German language. Social Hunter. So right here, we're, we're going to be able to look at on Etsy or Pinterest. So this is something I'm really happy about. Because I, I am selling on Etsy. So like American Bulldog. Let's see what comes up. So these are some shirts that are selling on Etsy with the keyword uh, American Bulldog. So you're you know, you're not just limited to looking at t-shirts on Amazon, but right here we, I can look at stuff that's selling on Etsy and, you know, get more different ideas, different perspectives. Um, Amazon has somewhat of a different clientele than Etsy, so it's just kind of something fresh and new. Now, if you are interested in uh, signing up to Merchant Former, I have a discount code, you use UGR20, you get 20% off the price. And yeah, I just think this is a great tool. I'm excited to get back on uh, working with Merch by Amazon after I took a pretty pretty long break from focusing on, on this platform. So 
I'm excited to get back at it here in 2020 and I'll definitely be showing you some of my journey along the way. So I'll see you next time. Peace.